scoots himself in perfectly. Don't you, buddy? We're going shopping, sir. Oh, he says, I love it here. I love yeah. it. I love it. I love it. Uber, which is all I will order now because you know, monkey, <laughs> he's a big one. Um, it's so funny, even though he's the same size as Ben and smaller than Gallup, he somehow feels so much bigger. But yeah, we're in the back of an Uber on the way to our friend Mo's, and I put on a cute outfit because I'm not feeling great, I'm not sick, but like, I'm not feeling great in other aspects, you know. And so, I put on a cute outfit and I'm getting out of the house. And look, isn't she adorable? It's like this hot pink little patent leather bag with this cute little like loop handle and this little pocket. You know what? It's so funny. Can they see? It's yeah. all dog bones. <laughs> That's perfect. And then inside I've got the poop bags, all the things you need. We've packed up his dinner because we're going to be out for the whole afternoon and evening. Um, and I'm wearing, I already told you, it's a it's okay, I'll show you the outfit when I get up. But we are going shopping for furniture. Mo loves furniture. You guys know I love furniture and home decor. So does my mom. So we've all loved doing it together in the past. We've talked about doing it again. And I still do some, you know, mattress on the floor. Got a little bit of patio furniture, but just a mattress on the floor. Um, Joybird is kindly gifting me a few of my living room pieces, but other than that, we've got nothing. And I haven't been in a rush to furnish this place because honestly, life's been really tough and I've had bigger things on my mind and on my plate to focus on. I'm just happy to have a safe space to live, to be honest. So a mattress on the floor is good enough for me and I'm really in no rush to furnish it. I think the struggles of this year have been good in that it reset me in certain ways. Like, it, it reminded me that material things aren't what matters the most. Don't bring happiness. What matters the most is friends, family, health, safety. Like, those things matter. And I have those. And so, you know, it's just not my priority to furnish my plates, to be honest. But I know eventually it has to be done. And, uh... I was just like, you know what, we've got the day, I'm feeling low, let's just go see a friend and have fun shopping around. So I might not get anything, but I might, you never know. I think that's really sometimes when the best things come, is when you just don't care and you're not actually really looking, you're just having fun. Um, and this is my first big day out with Elton John as my official real guide doggy. Um, like not in training, all of it's done. This is our first big day, so I thought I'd take you along for the fun because I know you guys love furniture and it's our first day together, huh? It's our first big day out. Let's go, we're almost there. Ignore the fact that I'm chewing a bunch of nuts. Elton John just met Moe's dog, Bowie. So I said, Elton John, meet Bowie. And it was an iconic statement I never thought I'd say. Plus, wait, I just, oh, gave, him his, to play. I just gave him his go play command. So we'll see what he does. I need to grab a snack because I've hardly eaten and you don't want to go shopping on an empty stomach. But let me show you the outfit. So the purse is by a black owned business. I cannot think of the name. I'll write it on the screen and below. Then you know how all these athletic dresses are in. So this is a Nike Air one. It's pastel pink. It's super comfy. I think I might get it taken up like just one. Why not? Yeah. I'm so short. And then, so it's a Nike Air dress. It has like the logo down here. And then I have these Nike Airs that are super multicolored. They have bright orange, which isn't usually my thing, but it's such a vibe in these. That said, this is so wild. If you get Nike Airs, I don't know about other Nike shoes, but if you get Nike Airs, size up at least one size. I'm usually a size five, though I do buy most of my sneakers in a six. These are a seven. Never in my damn life have I bought a seven. Does that look like a seven to you? Like that's nuts. And I held them up against all my other sixes, like Converse and other bands and stuff. And they're the same size as my sixes and other brands. So I don't know if these were mislabeled or if these just run that small, but they're so cute. So that's my look today. It is sweltering in the valley as it always is. I'm just gonna grab a quick snack here, let Elton run out some energy and then we're gonna go shop. We're in the car, Elton John is looking out the window at the Los Angeles city around us. And by that I mean the suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so cute. It is uh, very hot, so we're cranking the AC, but until it cools in here, I'm getting some breeze. And it's such a teeny car, and he just scoots himself in perfectly. 
Don't you, buddy? We're going shopping, sir. Oh, he says I love it here. I love yeah. it. I love it. I love it. I told you, Elton, you're going to have quite the life. <laughs> Hi, so the woman just came and told me that this chair is sold out, but she's gonna see if she can sell me the floor model. My mom and I were just talking last night about trying to find a cool rocking chair. And I was like, it must exist. Hello? I love like anything that rocks because it's just sensory stimulation and I find it relaxing. I don't know if it'll go with the aesthetic, but we could put a cushion and a throw blanket to like be fine, yeah. tie it together. You know? I think so. I'm like, oh. I think. I'm not sure. It doesn't come in any other color, so. Yeah. I love these. They're little floor tufts, and it's in black metal, like pegs, with a black metal ring around it, and then it's like a cream faux sheep. It's so cute. <laughs> Isn't it adorable? Yeah, it's adorable. You see floor tufts everywhere, and I love them, but this one's like a little. A little different. Funky. Yeah. So I'm at a secondhand place. This is so incredible. And it's such a good price for what a unique piece it is. Also, I found my dining table for $150. I found my bed frame, which is that blush pink one. I'm doing mostly warm tones, oranges, yellows, reds, pinks, and that's perfect. Oh, and I'm getting the picture above it. All of it is so well priced for such unique pieces like i would never get these pieces for what they actually cost retail and it's more sustainable because i'm shopping secondhand and it's going to be more unique than like going to ikea for the same price so i'm so thrilled and the first place we went to we found some pieces that i'm going to pick up as well and they're on mega sale so i feel like we're winning today Mom. yeah it's a really good day freaking winning because we came out so relaxed yeah I am in my second con consignment store of the day. It's getting hard to talk because I'm excited. Um, look at this. Oh my god. Elton John likes it. She's incredible. Elton John says, I love it. No, don't eat it. Don't eat it. <laughs> um, so these consignment stores are in like Calabasas, which is where, you know, like the Kardashians and all the famous rich people live. So all of these pieces are like, they were saying a lot of people here like will redo their house a year later. So the pieces are basically brand new and they're like, thousands upon thousands of dollars but crazy discounted so at the last consignment store i bought a piece of art two lamps my bed frame and my dining table and then here i found two side tables for my bed um and i just love it i feel like i'm saving a ton of money i'm getting quality pieces like i'm paying the prices of like wafer or ikea but i'm getting quality unique pieces and it's more sustainable because i'm like taking pieces you know, secondhand. So I'm so excited and I feel like this place is gonna look so much more unique and artistic and creative and eclectic and I'm so happy. Honestly, furnishing my place was the lowest thing on my priority list. I was like, if I get it done in 2023, I'll be happy. Girl, the place is basically done. <laughs> I'm so excited. I saved so much money. Isn't that? Isn't oh, it's it? crazy. It is crazy. And the crazy. quality, I the mean. quality, the prices, the money I saved. It's gonna be eclectic, it's more sustainable, it's gonna be more unique, higher quality than I could have afforded at this time. Like, we just nailed it. It was fantastic. The energy was with us. Elton is having a fabulous time. <laughs> One thing I learned about him today is, damn, does that man like to flirt with oh, women. Oh, he's a flirt. Elton oh. took a big poopsie whoopsies. And that's okay. They've got dogs. They know. Well, no, it's, it's good. I'm glad he poopsie whoopsie. Yeah, a big one too. But he's letting all his energy out playing. Like I think a... he's really happy. Oh, he's so pleased. He is going to sleep like a damn log after yeah. his first big day as my guide dog. I think he's just like, can we live here? I think there's a lot. Oh, he nice. wants to go inside, actually. You're not going inside. You You're can't not going trusted. inside, buddy. Um, so we're back at Mo and Chris's for a little family dinner. A little fish, salad, glass of rosé. It is a gorgeous night. LA is the desert. It famously gets very cold in the evenings. So like it's really hot during the day. Oh, I have to show the birds really on the, uh, the wire over there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's lovely. And the beautiful sky, flowers. It's like 7.30 p.m. The sun sets pretty early in LA. That's another strange thing. Like in Toronto, where I grew up, it's out really late. It's gorgeous tonight, isn't it, Mom? Beautiful. Although I will admit it was sweltering earlier. Oof. Yep. So yeah, good day all around. Huge success. I'm so happy. Sometimes, like, 
when you least expect it's like finding love you know how, <laughs> yeah. like you'll find a man now because you don't want one and i'm That's like please true. god no but this was the same principle <laughs> but i actually needed the furniture i don't need no man so i don't want one but i did need the furniture so i'm going to come pay. soon it's, There's no delays. We will have all of it by Friday. That's the other good thing about doing consignment because you guys know, Lord knows, I am dealing with some COVID supply chain delays. All consignment? Of, Nothing. Consignment stores? It's literally sitting there. They've got one piece. They want to move it out. Highly they recommend want more it. stuff in. Yep. It's better for every reason. I can't recommend enough. Like the bet I got, over $1,000 off yep. what it was retail. Amazing. Crazy. And... Yeah, so all of it, I get one big delivery on Wednesday and one big delivery on Friday. So literally, it's today is Monday. That's By crazy. By the end of the week, I will have almost all of the furniture in my apartment done. I'll just be waiting on the gifted stuff from Joybird for the living room. And we just need to pick up maybe a few pieces of art to tie in all the colors and just, you know, put something on the walls. And we'll need we'll to We'll do that get, another day. Yeah. And we'll need... Um, Two hey, dresser drawers. <laughs> There's our best friend ever. Yeah. This girl's amazing. Bring your dance. No, I'm saying. Dance, you know. I was like, well, that's what Elton realized today, flirting with all the women. He was like, California girls, they're undeniable. Like he's he's all in for the cowgirls. <laughs> <Look at Roman. laughs> Sorry, get my hair like, sir. <laughs> They're all drinking gin and tonics. I'm on water. Yeah, Molly's been like very... I'm being a good girl. Yeah. I'm waiting for my rosé at dinner. But yeah, so uh, I'm so pleased. And yeah, we just need a dresser drawer for my room and like a dresser drawer, like not a dresser drawer, but like a side table with drawers for the living room. We found a beautiful one, but it was 900 and I just can't do that. No, that's really nice. They were willing to go down to 800, but I was like... Still no, still no, but I keep, I do keep, I will admit I keep thinking about it. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Chris is a chef extraordinaire. I need to marry a Chris, okay? <laughs> me just being like, I don't need a man. Now me being like, I need to marry a Chris. This food he always makes, I still think about a meal he made me months ago, okay? Me too. The smell of this is spectacular. My mom provided the rosé and the salad. Well done, Neve. Thank you. Um, I provided fabulous company. And <laughs> Chris made- And a dog. And pepperinos. And Chris made us fish, correct? It's a beautiful fish with tons of capers oh. and a butter-like sauce. There are roasted fingerling potatoes. Oh my goodness. There is the salad and then there's broccolini. I'm obsessed with capers. I love capers. Yeah. Though I did once choke on broccolini, so we're not huge friends. But I'm you sure Chris made it deliciously. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there's a Elton. He's having the best time. He's so pleased. <laughs> He's you're so just being happy. One giant I can tell you're just two. I can tell you're just two. This is his new toy that he loves. You guys, the majority of the furniture is here. And yes, we got this. We got this entirely faux fur love seat and the matching, what's it called? <laughs> Ottoman. Ottoman. Um, Maybe not like the wisest purchase, <laughs> but like the purchase that makes me happy. I would say we've got like 90% of the furniture here now. So we went from like no furniture to 90% done. And my goal of every single thing in this apartment, either being gifted, thrifted, or discounted is 100% happening. I'm so pleased. So what I mean by that is thrifted, obviously going to consignment stores, thrift shops, um, to pick up furniture and decor pieces, which I would say at least 60% of what we got was thrifted. Um, discounted, so either on sale or from a discount store. Got a bunch of stuff there too. And gifted, so this is either gifted by friends or family, gifted from a brand, or like handed down from somebody so i guess that would fit into like thrifted and gifted like for example the bistro table and chair set used to be mo and chris's and then they like handed it down to us because they were done with it and they were going to get rid of it so that was my goal for this space and we have we've done it we just have a few final pieces to get and the gifted items that joybird is giving me have not arrived and probably won't for a little bit still um and then once those are in 
we'll be able to get the final like throw pillows and wall art and like the final little decor pieces that I'll totally finish this space off and then I'll be able to do a fully decorated apartment tour like you've never seen it on my channel before. I feel like this is going to be honestly the most Molly home I've shown you because growing up, wait I don't want to sip of tea, ah, raspberry leaf, delicious and great for cramps. Growing up my home like I lived in three different homes in my childhood, one till I was four, then four to 16, and then 16 to 18, moved out of 18, lived out alone for two years, then moved back in at 20, and lived there from 20 to 23. So that was like the same house, but like a little broken up. And all three of those houses, my parents had a very like eclectic style. Um, majority of the furniture I grew up with in all of these homes was handed down through from family members or gifted and my parents bought like very seldomly bought new pieces and I loved it it was eclectic and the pieces were were put together over time and rooms kind of slowly evolved and came together and so for me this like eclectic hippie chic um, shabby chic, shabby chic hippie vibe feels homey to me way more homey than like buying the pottery barn living room catalog that home looks beautiful and perfect and aesthetic and i've had that kind of vibe for the past few years and i have that kind of vibe in bc and honestly this the vibe i'm going for here is the most homey to me. It feels the most comforting, the most comfortable, the most at-home feel I've felt anywhere in a really long time. And I think this year was a huge reset for me. You guys know it's been a really rough one for a lot of different reasons and not just for me, but for other family members as well. And I think this year really was reset for me and brought me back to who I've always been. Okay, it's been a while since I filmed that and the space is actually officially done so much sooner than I ever would have thought it would have been, but the good energy just continued. We ended up going back to those two furniture consignment stores, getting the rest of the art that we needed. Um, I got a lot of the different decor pieces from small businesses, either on Etsy or small local businesses to Los Angeles and artists, um, handmade pieces, like I'm just so obsessed with how this space came out. It is by far my favorite place I have ever decorated, ever lived. It reminds me of my first place that I lived in at 18 in Toronto, like how I decorated that space. Um, it just reminds me of me. and. I can't wait to show you guys. I think the tour is going to come out around October 15th. So have your notification bell turned on if you're excited to see it. Get ready. And my biggest pieces of advice if you are looking to either thrift or do consignment shopping for your furniture um, would be number one, go to a place that's furniture specific because they're going to have the biggest and best selection. And number two, go to the ritzy area like I did um as I mentioned I went to like Calabasas which is the fancy part of LA I don't live anywhere near there um we like trekked out to go there so even if you have to like drive an hour out of your way I would highly recommend it to just like go to the fancy areas because that's where you're gonna get the best quality stuff um and yeah go to furniture specific thrift and consignment stores um, and I don't know, this space is definitely proof that you can build a beautiful space on a budget. And also like Facebook Marketplace is a super great resource. Um, and just putting it out to friends and family, if anyone's getting rid of stuff, like send me pictures. Um, those would be my biggest pieces of advice. And I know this space won't be for everyone. It's super colorful and vibrant. Um, but I hope that even if this space isn't for you, all the color and eclectic style like brings a smile to your face. I used to call my first apartment that I lived in at 18 like um, boho save the world hippie chic. <laughs> that was definitely the vibe back then that I had going and um, this is reminiscent of that. So yeah, this year of struggle has boiled me right back down to <laughs> the 18 year old girl I once was and I'm happy for it. So. 
Until next time, you can click over here to see the empty apartment tour to see what we are working with because this place looks nothing like it now. Or you can click over here to see another one of my videos. Love you guys. Bye.